And just like magic, just like that, we're back. So as soon as this beeps, which we're going to do is we're going to turn off the heat for the cranberries. And we're going to stir it in our raspberry jello. So when, when you do the jello, ignore what the package says. You're not going to follow that package at all. Okay, so let's turn this off. Let's turn this off the heat. And you're just going to dump in the entire package of jello. I'm going to show you what that looks like. That looks like that. Now you want to go ahead and mix it. Oh, it's going to be really good. Now you can use the sugar free if you're if you live with a diabetic and I was looking at the sugar free raspberry. You can certainly use the sugar free raspberry jello. It doesn't have to be the the one with sugar. I just happened to grab the, the sugar one because it's Thanksgiving and my husband has been doing really well with his, his sugars. Although I don't think the chocolate cake was all that, that good for him, but he doesn't eat a lot of, of sweets all the time. So now you're going to let this cool down and it's going to take a while to cool it down. And then you're going to add your remaining ingredients. So let's go ahead and get our um, walnuts and get those chopped. And how much walnuts you put in, well, this calls for a half a cup. You can do as many or as little walnuts as you want. Like I said, this recipe, and I'm sorry it's a little bit dark. It's actually, it's actually 1030 in the morning or 1015 in the morning, and it's been raining. As a matter of fact, we had so much rain last night that we ended up uh, having a little bit of a flood downstairs. Let me see if I have nuts. I oh I do. And that might actually be a half a cup. Okay. So you if you don't want to do your walnuts, you can buy the, the bag of coarse chopped walnuts. And I use the the chopped walnuts when I do um like uh walnut cake banana bread, or when I do chocolate chip cookies. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're already chopped for you, so you can just set those on the side. And like I said, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for this to cool enough before you can add your remaining ingredients, which is good because your oranges and your pineapple, you want them to uh, completely drain. So let's go over. If you have a Jello mold, you're gonna want you're gonna want that. Um, unfortunately, because of the remodel, I do have a Jello mold. I just don't know where the heck I put it. Let me move you guys a little bit over. Oop, and I just dropped dropped the salt on my clean table. So I'm just gonna grab after I drop everything in. I'm just going to grab medium. This should be big enough to, to host all of that um, in it. Let me grab its lid. I think that, that should be its lid. Let me put this back. Yeah, I was hoping my, I was so hoping that my uh, 
children will, will, will turn, turn up in one of these cabinets, but I don't know where I put it, where it moved to. And of course, I'll find it when I'm not looking for it or when I don't need it. It'll be like, here I am. So go ahead and wash up your jello mold and I'm going to put you guys on this side of the sink. And what you're going to want to do is after you've added all of your fruits, and I did get my nails done for the holidays, so they're all nice and, and crisp for the holidays. I did that yesterday since that was my down day. Might be allowed for a minute. <laughs> But unfortunately, the, the hazard of having a uh, garbage disposal is sometimes the water backs up. And especially if we have a lot of rain, what happens is, is the pipes will sometimes get get moisture in them and they'll, they'll back up a little bit. So I'm just going to give this the once over and make sure it's all nice and clean. Anyway, what I was going to say is after you've added all of your fruit and mixed it up, you want to mix it really well, then you're going to put it in your either jello mold or your Tupperware container, and then you're going to pop it in the refrigerator. It needs to set for at least 24 hours. Like I said, this jello mold tastes better if you do it a couple of days ahead of time. The longer it sits, the more flavorful it becomes. And it'll last. Um, it'll last at least five, six, seven days after you've made it. I, I've actually had it over a week after I make it. And it, it it's a really good um, salad. You know, when you don't want a big lettuce salad, you just want a little bit of stuff. It's also great for a snack. I'll be honest, if you have a UTI, it's also good for that because it's got the cranberry in there. So this is actually starting to cool down. It's not fully cooled to where I can I can put my hand on it, but as soon as you can touch the pan without pulling back, and we'll give it a couple more minutes and then I'll show you what it what it's going to look like once you add everything to it. I hope everybody has a very safe and happy Thanksgiving if you're in the United States. If you're out of the country, let me know what your country probably doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, but if you guys have a major holiday. I know um, Canada celebrated their Thanksgiving. I think their Thanksgiving is a couple of weeks before ours or... Maybe it might have been last week for a, for all I remember. I remember w one of the ladies said she was from Canada, and, and um, it was during the when I did the appetizer series with the new toaster oven. So that was maybe a, a week ago. So they might have celebrated theirs last weekend. Traditionally, here in the United States, Thanksgiving is always the fourth Thursday of the month of November. And it used to be on a specific day, and I think it was maybe in the 1940s or the 1950s. It might have been the early 50s when they actually moved it to the fourth Thursday of the month. So we're just going to give this a, a minute to do this. And after you dump this into your jello mold make sure you go ahead and clean this really fast and really well because once the gelatin hardens it it can be a pain in the butt to clean your pot because it gets very very sticky and it's just beautiful let you see what it what it looks like it's just a very very beautiful 
and you can smell the raspberry with the cranberries. Perfect, I'm gonna let that set too. Yeah, we had quite a bit of rain last night. We had a, oh, almost an inch, if not a little bit more than an inch. That is cooling. So I would say maybe about, we'll do, let's do, let's, let's do about five minutes. So I'm going to stop the video for a second. I'll be back in five minutes and I'll show you what we're going to do. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. It's been five minutes and this is, I, this is pretty cool. Ice. Okay, so we're going to add our remaining ingredients. So I'm going to start with the celery. And you're just going to chuck the celery in. And while we're doing that, let's do our walnuts. And like I said, I mean, if you don't want to put the walnut extra, well, you know what, this is, that'll finish that up. You don't have to use the walnuts, but I think the walnuts make this this very, very good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's gonna look like, like that. Oh, and I didn't realize. Oh no, that's a nut. <laughs> I thought there was a seed from the mandarin oranges. You're just gonna wanna give it a very, very good stir. Well, that will be good. Okay, and then like I said, I'm not gonna add any of the juice. The reason I reserved just a little bit of the um, pineapple juice is that just in case it hardens on you and you need to thin it out just a little bit, it's always good to have the pineapple juice. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to transfer it into your, um, like I said, if you have a jello mold, it'd be better to use that, but since I can't find mine, I'm going to use my Tupperware. And I could have probably gone one size down, but I'm, it's always a good idea to go with a little bit bigger. So that's what it looks like. Now, cover it and let it sit, leave it alone for at least 24 hours. Longer is better, so if it can sit for 48 hours, it'll, it'll get that nice shape and it'll be delicious for your table and for your company to enjoy with the Thanksgiving meal. You can definitely serve this with ham, you can serve it with pork, and you can even serve, well, you can definitely serve it with turkey. But it just makes a great accompaniment to almost any dish that you can, you can um, serve cranberry with. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tune in later on this evening. We'll get into the Bloody Marys. And we may even do a surprise drink tonight. So stay tuned for that much later. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel video.